Hey guys, it's Lana here. Welcome back to Lana Summer Summertime. I'm so excited to finally be making this video. It has been a long time coming. Today's video is for anyone who's thinking about going vegan but is worried about the expense. For some reason, I have never posted a dedicated video about vegetarianism or veganism despite me being a vegetarian since I was seven years old. Yes, I said vegetarian. I'm not quite perfect. Oh, that's a huge bird. Oh my gosh. Okay. Oh, I'm a bit scared of birds. I really want this video to be helpful in bringing people on board to veganism. And I think that we can all agree that some positive steps towards change are better than none. I'm still learning. I want to keep learning and I want to share what I've learned already with you guys. So I just really want to give you some quick tips before I jump into the vlog section of this video. All right, so my first tip is to focus on progress over perfection. It can be really daunting if you're focused on perfection. So just focus on progress and I'm sure you're going to do much better than if you stress yourself out focusing on perfection right away. Number two, you have to remember that not everything that's vegan is going to be marked as vegan. So I started finding this really funny in recent years, like you'd pick up a bag of spinach and it would have a big V on it to say it's vegan. And I'm like, okay, like I, we knew that, we knew that already. But what I actually think it did was confuse people. So now people are picking things up that have always been vegan, but because it doesn't have a V on it, people think that it's not, and it is. So number three is to show around because some shops are more expensive than other shops like if you're gonna go to Waitrose your grocery bill is gonna be huge like if you go to Whole Foods it's gonna be extortionate so if you are on a budget definitely try to get yourself to a Lidl an Aldi Farm Foods Iceland those are definitely budget friendly food shop tip number four is to buy frozen food frozen food is almost always cheaper and it's just as nutritious healthy and delicious as fresh food tip number five is to stay home and learn to cook <laughs> Everybody knows that eating out at restaurants or takeaways is going to be more expensive. So if you're on a budget, learn to cook. That actually brings me to today's sponsor, which is Skillshare. And I'm going to talk about them more in the video. Number six is to avoid gimmicks. I mean, these huge corporations that jump onto the veganism trend, they make a product that could easily be so much cheaper, but they just splash veganism all over the front of it and they whack the prices up. And they've really contributed to this idea that people have where veganism is so expensive when really it's just a product that you either didn't need or that you could find for half the price somewhere else. So avoid those. <laughs> okay, now that you have all of that info, let's see what I bought, let's see what I ate, let's see where I shopped and let's see how you guys can do it too. I don't need to think about it. There's nothing in this world that we can't do Flowers even mad about it Cause they can't blow like you don't I don't see a way around it Cause everything has led me straight to you It's nothing new Baby, I'm outside Been thinking about you all night Been thinking it ain't right if you and me Only see us in our dreams I'm outside been thinking about you all night Been thinking it ain't right if you and me Only see us in our dreams I'm outside back from the shop this is pretty much everything that i bought today and i think it was a really successful shop a lot of stuff is just stuff that i buy all the time like i always buy tomatoes i usually always have carrots i always have blueberries the avocados i'm not sure how to feel about those because that was two for 69p in farm foods like have you ever seen that before not me and this chocolate this chocolate was 30p in Tesco's. It does say not suitable for customers with a nut or milk or wheat allergy due to their manufacturing methods, but there's actually no animal products listed on the ingredients. So for that reason, I'm gonna call it vegan. Okay, so today is a burger and fries kind of night. So I'm having the bird's eye green cuisine, meat-free vegan burgers. These are from Lidl's and they're literally 69p for a bag of fries. 
I mean, you could go ahead, you could make fries yourself if you wanted to. It's really easy. You just take potatoes, you cut them up thin, you stick them in the air fryer if you want to. But you know what? Today is a really lazy freezer food kind of day. So just going right there, just close it, whack it on. Vegan mayo time. Hi guys, so today I actually am gonna cook instead of just grabbing something from the freezer, but it's still gonna be a really easy little meal. So don't get your hopes up, it's not gonna be anything exciting. I'm gonna make some tomato pasta. I feel like everybody needs to know how to make tomato pasta, it's like a staple. I'm not a chef, I'm not the best cook in the world, but my tomato pasta is like pretty good. Like I like it. And it's really easy to change it. Like if you want it spicier, make it spicier. If you want it more herby, make it more herby. If you want it with more garlic, add more garlic. If you want it, you know, it's, it's just really easy to switch it up with this. That kind of leads me to today's sponsor, which is Skillshare. So if you didn't already know, Skillshare is an online learning platform with thousands of online classes ranging from anything from photography, crafting, business management, and cooking. So I've been using it a lot lately to improve my cooking. I really wanna to get to a level where I feel comfortable hosting dinner parties and stuff like that, you know, just trying to be a little bit fancy. So this has actually really been helping me a lot. So I am partnered with Skillshare for this video and I'm so happy about that because it means that I'm able to offer a gift to you guys. So, the first thousand people to use my link in the description will receive a one month of free trial to Skillshare Premium. That's huge, you guys, because it is so helpful. And don't worry if you're not within the first thousand or if your month trial ends, because after that, it is usually around $10 a month. Go and check out the link in my description and let's carry on with the rest of the video. From week to week, I probably do eat a lot of pasta, rice, I eat couscous quite often, and I do like to mix it up and do some nice meals. It's just, you've caught me on a really off week where I've been really busy, like right through to the evenings and I've not really given myself much time for dinner. Even now, I think it's nearly 11 o'clock at night right now, so I'm literally making this meal for the video otherwise I think I would have just grabbed a pizza out of the oven. So I've got my frozen garlic. I usually try to do about one garlic clove per serving. So if I'm making two servings, I'll use about two garlic cloves. If I use, if I'm making three or four servings, I'll adjust it. I've got fresh tomatoes, fresh mushrooms. I've got peppers, got cubes, puree. I'm literally using the, the cheapest chopped tomatoes because I don't see a difference, honestly. I'm sure any chefs among you will probably be like, how can you say there's no difference? But you know, tomato's a tomato, tomato, tomato. Um, and then the vegan corn pieces. And I always get the whole wheat because you can buy whole wheat pasta in Lidl. I'm gonna start boiling the pasta straight off the bat. My mushrooms, I'm actually gonna put the mushrooms in the air fryer because I really like the flavor of mushrooms. I'm basically gonna get air fry them with a little bit of hot sauce on them. And that's gonna be really good. Oh, and I like I like my veg to be cut really thick as well because I like knowing that it's there. I really like my vegetables. So this is what I'm doing with my mushrooms. It's not that much. I just use some black pepper and then some hot sauce. I feel like everyone's gonna be like, you need to salt it. But I feel like this is salty enough. This is, yeah, this has salt in it. That's salty enough and it has garlic in it. It has it all. I just do it like that, but I'm not gonna put them in the air fryer yet because they cook really quickly. So I'm just gonna put them over to one side. Pasta is cooking away nicely and I've just dropped the garlic in. Mushrooms, I'm gonna go in the air fryer now. Maybe that's when I chuck in most of those spices. The mushrooms are gonna be amazing. You put the pasta in the sauce. You don't put the sauce on the pasta, you put the pasta on the sauce. All right, there it is in all of its crown and glory. I topped it with the coriander because it was just that spicy tomato -y. I feel like it would work really well with some coriander and it does. This is a really good tomato -y pasta. And like I said, you can always mix and match stuff with tomato pasta, like you can garlic, basil, like anything goes. All right, I'm gonna eat and I'll see you tomorrow. Good night guys. Hi guys, so today is a new day. It's actually bank holiday Monday and me and my sister have been up to activities all day long. We had a picnic at the beach and we've just been painting and now we're gonna stick some pizza in. 
And I'm having the sticky barbecue jackfruit saucy vegan Chicago town tomato stuffed crust takeaway pizza. So I think if you go to most shops, this is usually like four pounds and I got this in farm food. So like you could go somewhere else and pay four pounds. I just pay one pound. I added some coriander and this is the vegan peri peri mayo which actually isn't that spicy so I went and put some Tabasco hot sauce on the pizza as well but it's really good so can I just say while well, I've been busy trying to not eat animals and other sentient beings they ain't been busy trying to avoid me the gnats are making it all their business to try and eat me do you see this like do you realize the size of this this gnat bite is this that is all one nap bite. Yes, baby. They've been eating me. All right, so here's my dinner for tonight. I've got rice. So this is basmati rice, actually. And then it's the corn pieces, like the chicken style pieces with yellow peppers, red peppers, red onion, mushrooms, and the fajita style mix. I think obviously you could make your own mix from scratch, but this is just very budget. A low amount of time very easy to do um some homemade salsa tomatoes coriander um chili and some other stuff in there that i can't remember and this avocado guacamole <laughs> my guacamole attempt those avocados were not the ones though they were they they were just odd uh, those are the ones that i bought from farm foods so i think i'm probably not gonna buy avocados from farm foods again i'll stick to buying them from little okay that last lot of guacamole that i made was actually so bad that i needed to come and make some more so this is the same kind of principle again for that guacamole it's just avocado lime juice salt and chili flakes i think and this is the same sort of fajita mix that i had so yeah just so you know it definitely depends on the avocados if you tried to make guacamole and it just wasn't working probably change where you buy your avocados from or try and store them differently or something like that but yeah that's my dinner today mm, in case you can't tell <laughs> It's Thai green curry. It doesn't look very green, but it's a lot of butter, squash, uh, red pepper. Okay guys, so that is gonna be my dinner for tonight. I'm gonna actually eat on the sofa while watching Friends because I want to and because it's a Monday, there's no one here. So it's definitely like a lonely singles dinner tonight, but it's gonna be good. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Wow, how do you know how to do that? Remember that guy that gave me a bad review? Okay guys, so I really hope that you enjoyed this video. I really hope that you learned something. If you really want me to speak more about this, then please let me know in the comment section. Have an amazing day. I love you all so much. I wanna leave you with one of my favorite quotes which is that you cannot do all of the good that the world needs, but the world needs all of the good that you can do. I wish you all the luck on your journey and hopefully I'll see you in my next video. Bye.